to like, you know, be like, I don't know, I did it. Let me start that over. Hey guys, Lexi here. And well, I'm back in San Francisco and it feels so good to be home. We're officially not in the minor leagues anymore. And I kind of wanted to share with you guys about our time in the minor leagues and kind of what it meant to me. Needless to say, I learned a lot. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to share what that time was like in the minor leagues and what I was able to really self-reflect and learn about myself. And I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. I hope this video helps you. You know, because for us, like we did a lot of travel in a very short amount of time. And we did a lot of evolving. Hunter did his own evolving and I did my own evolving. And pretty much what I have come up with is that everything comes from within. So some of the things that I've learned while in the minor leagues is that everything can change in the blink of an eye. The world is forever changing. Just anything can be, it can be changed so quickly. So look at each moment as, as a cherished moment because you never know when it's gonna change. Even though it's not might not be the best and it's just good, if things are just good, that can change. It can change for the better and it can change for the worse. Things can change in the blink of an eye. So no matter what position that you are in, be grateful for that moment because it could easily change quickly. When your partner or when something's happening, the best thing to do is to say nothing. <laughs> Everything that I was saying to Hunter for a good week was just like not the right thing. I thought in my head that I was helping and I was trying to show love and comfort in the way that I knew how and try to be supportive and, and give him what I thought I would want to him. But sometimes the silence is golden, guys. And that's sometimes the best way to be. The other thing I learned is you have to have faith in the ebb to get back into the flow. I read this somewhere and it just really stuck with me because we all have faith and we're all super happy when we're in the flow, when things are going good and things are amazing. But when it comes to the ebb, when you're in the tough spot and when you're when things aren't going your way and when things are just like, you're not happy with them, you have to have faith. You have to stay like, you just have to have the faith that it's gonna go back into the flow. Life is an ebb and flow. And when you're in the ebb, just have faith that you're gonna get back into the flow because it's gonna happen. Like I said, things change in the blink of an eye. So have the faith while you're in the ebb and trust me, you'll get back in that flow. Another thing I learned is that creativity is 100% a lifesaver. When you're going, when you're traveling this much and you know, when you're trying to help you know, your partner or something's just not going your way or you know, life is tough, you're kind of in a negative mind space. Doing something creative is a fantastic outlet to kind of get you back into feeling good and this will pass and you're you're almost like channeling that that negative icky feeling that you can't shake off. You're almost like channeling it into the positive. Right, so my YouTube, for me it was like my YouTube videos and I built a website. <laughs> I built a website, you guys. So I kind of took all of this angst and all of this stuff and anxiety that I was feeling during all the travel and everything and I built a website and I'm so excited to share it with you guys hopefully soon, it's almost done. And I'm very proud of it because I know what I went through to build it and I know what it means to me and it's just, it's almost like a labor of love where it was the one, it was the thing that made me happy while I was alone in a hotel room in a city that I knew no one. And it's the thing that made me happy and being creative is what makes me happy and creativity is life. And it got me through and it got me, it changed my mindset, it helped me stay positive and it helped me, it helped kept me motivated and inspired. And I was really, really grateful for it. And so I'm even more grateful because now I have this beautiful website that I'm excited to share with you guys. And hopefully you guys will get to see it hopefully soon, any day now. I'm just, you know, crossing my T's and dotting my I's now on it. So I'm very excited to share it with you guys. I also learned that reflection is key. I've talked about reflection before in my past videos, but reflection really is everything. Because I reflected, I have all these points now, like what I learned from this journey and taking moments to reflect on like where you were, where you're at now and what this is all supposed to mean. Like what is it all supposed to teach me? Like I was able to reflect and I've learned so much. And obviously like, you know, I'm not gonna feel like this always, but there's just like an inner calm in me right now. I am cherishing so much. I 
freaking love it. And I don't think I would have ever noticed that unless I reflected. So reflection is huge. I reflected every day on what I'm supposed to learn, what am I supposed to be taught right now, just trying to uncover those things about yourself that you're trying to learn and what you know God or the universe or whatever it is that you call it, like what is it trying to teach me? And I'm super grateful for the time that I got to reflect and all the things that I have learned from that reflection. Okay, another thing that I learned and I preach this all the time is gratitude. Just saying thank you always. Saying thank you is everything because things could always be worse and you just fill your heart with gratitude and it just gets you into a better mindset in general. Like it, you just feel better and you become mentally more aware that like, yes, thank you, I have lungs, I have my body's able to do things or you know, I'm grateful that I get to spend this time with my partner, like I love him so much. Oh my gosh, it's so great. We're having this crazy adventure. Thank you. Like finding what you can be grateful for will change your whole perspective on any situation, I promise. Another thing I learned is don't give up. I watched Hunter not give up and he fights so hard. He gives 120% to everything that he does. And he is, I'm gonna get all teary eyed. He is a true testament to working hard and having a kind heart and just, he like legit like throws love out into the world constantly. Never once was he negative, never once was he down on anything. He just was like, I need to, I'm gonna get better. You know, I'm gonna work on my thumb, I'm gonna work on my batting stance, and like, he did it. Like, he worked so hard, and he did it all with a smile. He did it all with a grateful heart, and he did it all with so much love, because he just loved baseball so much. He loves his team so much. He just, he never once gave up. I mean, he was an inspiration for me, that like, if you don't give up, like, you'll, you'll get there. Have a grateful heart, and just send out love, and like, just keep going because Hunter is a true testament to that and he is just like, he's such an inspiration. So I learned that. <laughs> okay, enough with the waterworks. Don't cry, don't cry. Oh gosh, my next thing too, I'm probably gonna end up crying. Don't ever stop growing and evolving. Like the minute you stop growing is the minute I think you just stop living. Like we can always be better, we can always, you know, just because you're good at something doesn't mean you can't be better and I think that's a great lesson that I learned and I think Hunter learned in this situation too. Like we have to constantly be pushing ourselves to be better and to grow and evolve and keep pushing yourself, keep challenging yourself and just keep going. Don't give up. And then lastly, love yourself. We all need to stop and just stop being so hard on ourselves because we are. We just need to stop and we need to love ourselves and be grateful. Just like stop judging ourselves, stop comparing ourselves. Just like, why couldn't I do, like just stop being hard on ourselves and just be and enjoy the ride and wherever it will take us, like we'll do it with a smile. And that's what I did in my minor league time. I did stuff that I enjoyed. I went hiking, I built a website, I went to the movies, I spent time with Hunter, I talk to my parents more. I saw old friends I don't get to see a lot. I got to catch up with old friends I don't get to see a lot. I got to catch up with my godsons. And honestly, like, it felt so good because things that you enjoy just fill you up. And that's kind of what I learned in the minor leagues. It was a good experience. I'm glad I made this video too because now I can always look back on this and be like, okay Lex, like remember this moment. I'm so grateful for what our next experience is gonna be. And I'm, I'm just happy and it's exciting and I hope this gives you guys encouragement to look at a difficult situation in this way as well. So, that's it. Thanks guys. Bye. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below what challenging moment you've had and what you've learned from it, if you're willing to share it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Why? Because we post videos here every single week and I don't want you to miss one. See you in the chat. Bye!